In this video, we are going to talk about the derivatives of trigonometric functions. And uh, there are six basic trigonometric functions. You have uh, sine, cosine, tangent, and then you have the uh, cotangent, secant, and cosecant. So, uh, first you have to uh, really memorize the basic formulas. So, the derivative of sine x is cosine x. The derivative of cosine x is negative sine x. The derivative of tangent is second square x. The derivative of cotangent is negative cosecant square x. The derivative of second is second x tangent x. The derivative of cosecant is negative cosecant x cotangent x. And then, uh, if x is replaced by u, if x is replaced by u and u is a function of x, then simply apply chain rule. So the formulas are uh, still the same. x just became u, but since uh, you are, u is a function of x, then you have to apply chain rule and multiply the derivative of u with respect to x. Okay? So, more often than not, we will be dealing with this set of formula wherein uh, u is already a function of x. Okay, so let's start with uh, some uh, basic examples. So let's say we want to find the first derivative. So find, find the first derivative. For the following functions. So let's say number 1. We have y is equal to cosine 3x. So the formula that uh, we will uh, use here is uh, simply the derivative of cosine u. Okay? And the uh, derivative of cosine u with respect to x, so you see that uh, we will uh, apply the chain set in the chain rule formulas. So this is equal to sine u, derivative of u with respect to x. So after knowing the formula, we will identify what is R u, and R u is 3x. And then gets, let's get the derivative of uh, the u, so it's uh, simply 3. So we go back to our problem and uh, apply what we have uh, initially solved. The derivative of cosine is negative sine, so simply copy sine and then copy your u, 3x. And then multiply that with the derivative of u, which is 3. Okay? If you are uh, already very comfortable in solving uh, the derivative, then you don't have to go to this step wherein uh, you first identify the formula and then identify u and then get the derivative. You can go ahead right uh, to this step. No? But since uh, we are still in the, uh, in the initial stages of our discussion, then it's best if you do something like this, okay? So, solve for the final answer. Negative 3 sine 3x, okay? Just have to be careful, no? Some would make the mistake of multiplying 3 and the angle 3x. So, that is uh, mathematically incorrect. So, let's go to our problem number 2. Okay, so let's say we have y is equal to... Uh, tangent pi x y is equal to tangent pi x so what you can do is you can pause the video and then solve on your own and then afterwards play the video and check if your answer is correct okay so the derivative for our uh, tangent tangent u function is equal to second square u derivative of u with respect to x so the u here is pi x. Now remember that uh, pi is constant. So therefore, the derivative of that is uh, simply pi. Go back to the problem. y prime is equal to second square pi x, then multiply pi. So final answer, y prime is equal to pi second square pi x. Okay, so problem number three. Say we have uh, y is equal to cotangent 
4 minus 3x and the derivative of uh, cotangent u is equal to negative cosecant square u derivative of u with respect to x. So y prime is equal to, so let's say you are familiar already, I will not uh, write the formula anymore. No? So my u here is 4 minus 3x and then mentally I could get the derivative of that. So it's uh, simply equal to negative 3. So knowing that it is negative 3, so I'll go ahead with my formula. So first I'll write cosecant square uh, 4 minus 3x, negative cosecant square 4 minus 3x, and then multiply that by negative 3. So the final answer, y prime is equal to negative times negative is positive. So 3 cosecant square 4 minus 3x. Let's continue with our uh, problem number four. So problem number four, let's say we have uh, y is equal to sine of ax plus bx. So you might get confused uh, with a and b, but uh, remember, you're getting the derivative of y with respect to x, and therefore y and x are the variables. So, a and b will be considered constants. So, what is the derivative of sine? So, formula for sine u is equal to uh, cosine u, then derivative of u with respect to x. So, if my u is ax plus b, then the derivative of that with respect to x is uh, simply equal to a. Okay? So, we go back to my formula. Uh, for my, to my given. So y prime is equal to cosine u. So u is ax plus b. ax plus b. And then multiply that by a. So it's a matter of simplifying a cosine ax plus b. Okay? That is our final answer. So problem number five, let's say we have y is equal to sine of uh, pi x squared. So again, the derivative of uh, my sine, ito na yon, uh, it's already here, it's uh, equal to cosine u derivative of u with respect to x. So I'll simply write here, what is my u? My u is... Uh, pi x squared. So what is the derivative of that? So that is equal to 2 pi x. Okay. So apply that to uh, my problem. So y prime would be equal to the cosine of pi square x and then multiply the derivative of pi square x which is 2 pi x. So simplify. y prime is equal to 2 pi x cosine pi square x.